This is code.org, Velocity X. Uh, first, I want to see if our code does anything. Ooh, we have some fish. Okay, so I guess we're going to do something with that. Let's see. One way to move sprites in game lab is with the counter pattern. For example, sprite.x equals sprite dot, uh, sprite1.x equals sprite1.x plus 1 moves a sprite by one pixel each frame of the draw loop. Okay. This pattern is so common that sprites have a velocity x property that does it for you. Ooh, that sounds awesome. Uh, do this. Drag the sprite dot uh, velocity x block directly below where your sprite is created. Write the name of your sprite in the block. Assign the velocity x property to... Okay, this is way too much. So let's see. Sprite... Oh, it was right here. So directly below where our sprite is created... It looks like, so this is where we make the variable fish, right below, then we take fish and we set the animation to orange fish. So now fish is assigned to the orange fish. So I'm going to put velocity x right there, okay? We do not have anything called sprite. We have something, we created a variable fish, so I need to replace it with fish. All right, write the name of your sprite in the block. Assign velocity x property to 1, okay? Assign means make it equal 1. Run the code, what will happen? It's going to move right by one. Yeah, so we told the computer, hey, we want its velocity x. We want its x to increase by one if I hit run. And so every second, every millisecond, uh, it's just going to, uh, well, every time it runs, which I believe is 30 frames per second, it's going to increase and move across the screen. That makes sense. Rerun the code, giving the x velocity property a different value, what is changing. Ooh, let's make them faster. I think this will make our fish fast. Vroom! <laughs> awesome. Yes. So it increases the speed. Okay. And what I did was, again, was I dragged this thing over the... It was under sprite. I put... Well, I needed... Did I... Nope. It automatically gave me that. So I just dragged it over, dropped it in, and gave me the equal sign too. So that's what worked for me. Okay. Onward we go.